Dear viewers, thank you for joining us. You are watching Talk to OBN Show. Our channel is OBN Horn of Africa. Today I joined uh, Zadik Abraha, Minister of Democratization at Prime Minister's Office. We are going to talk about current affairs in Ethiopia. Uh, Mr. Zadik, thank you for joining me. Same here. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, my first question is, how did you see the act taken by TPLF over the Northern Coma? It's a very sad day. I would say it was uh, a Black Tuesday. Hmm. Our uh, Northern Command forces were out there hmm. to protect uh, our territorial integrity, hmm. to protect from uh, Tigrayan people from any uh, foreign aggression. Hmm. Uh, but uh, very sadly, hmm. TPLF chose to attack uh, members of the Northern Command mm. uh, while they were at sleep. Mm. It's a very sad day. I don't think there is any historical parallel. Mm. It's uh, treason in every sense of the term, I would say. Mm. But the act was uh, not directed to a, not only directed towards the Northern Command members, mm. but also the whole nation. Mm -hmm. uh, defense uh, capability, defense forces are quite essential capabilities of a state. Mm -hmm. So by attacking Northern Command, which is one of the most important uh, bases, military bases in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. given the number of uh, army members it, uh, it has and the, the kind of artillery uh, that it happened to, have to be under its possession, uh, it was a deliberate act to dispossess Ethiopia military capability to defend itself from any foreign aggression. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has never happened in our history. Mm -hmm. I don't think it has any historical parallel elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an act, a treasonous act of no proportion. Mm -hmm. uh, TPLF uh, raided our northern command base. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, surrounded our soldiers um, and killed and some of them took captive of some of them, mm -hmm. and also looted our artillery, mm -hmm. uh, which is a horrendous act. Mm -hmm. I'm really saddened uh, by such a devilish act, I would say. Okay, they, they have uh, looted uh, some armories and arsenals, right? Did the federal government regain those materials? Yeah, we have uh, managed to regain some of it. And we have also, through air raid, we have also destroyed okay. uh, the most important element of these masculine weapons. Mm -hmm. So now the TPLF is disposed of the capability it wanted mm -hmm. uh, to own mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, when the act happened uh, on that Black uh, Tuesday. Okay, uh, as of today, can we talk the status of the operation? Yeah, the, as the Prime Minister has announced it, okay. uh, the first phase of the operation was finalized a week ago. Mm -hmm. Now we are on our final offensive. Mm -hmm. uh, it is meant to take us to Makali, mm -hmm. the capital city of Tigray, mm -hmm. and liberate the, the people of Tigray from this military junta. Mm -hmm. So we are progressing. It's only been uh, a week or two since the uh, operation began. But uh, we are now at uh, very close to Makali, encircling Makali, mm -hmm. which is uh, their final days are numbered. Mm -hmm. mm, so we are confident that, uh, you know, a lot of people predicted this will be a civil war, this will be a regional war. Mm -hmm. We proved this is not the case. Mm -hmm. Our, the, as you see, the, the area which is under a state of emergency, mm -hmm. which is under a state, uh, state of emergency, is only Mac Tigray. Mm -hmm. So we have managed to keep this thing. Mm -hmm only a regional issue, like a, a Tigra issue, and now it is being reduced to a Mekale issue, a one-city issue. I want you to, I mean, to brief this uh, scenario. Uh, international media these days report that Ethiopia is under civil war, but it's, it's not actually a civil war, right? The federal government is taking measure on the rebel group which based in Tigra, right? Uh, I need your elaboration on these tips. Well, the strictest understanding of civil war mm -hmm. would have you mm -hmm. uh, would have you believe that uh, 
like civil war entails the meaning of a war at least between two people. This is not the case. This is an operation being taken by a federal government which is trying to uphold the rule of law against the TPLF military junta which is trying to isolate the Tigrayan people from the rest of Ethiopia. So if you can, if you are able to witness or observe uh, some of the uh, developments in Tigray, whenever our army uh, in those areas where that are liberated by our army, people are coming out, Tigrayan people are coming out in mass, chanting, mm -hmm. welcoming our military, uh, our defense forces. Mm -hmm. So it shows that they are not on the side of Tipele. Mm -hmm. They are simply taken hostage by Tipele. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is not people's war. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, measure against uh, uh, the TPLF military junta. If you are going to call such measures such major civil war, mm -hmm. then we had uh, thousands of such wars. So this is not the case. This is in no way closer to civil war, mm -hmm. to a civil war. Good. The, I mean, the acronym TPLF stands for Tigrayan People Liberation Front. Uh, did TPLF liberate the Tigrayan people so far? From what? I don't know. Well, you got to ask TPLF about it, but TPLF has, be, has become a major source of problem for Tigray people. Mm -hmm. the, uh, it is now three years since a wave of change, a wave of reform hit Ethiopian uh, uh, political climate, political mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. But Tigray has proven to be an island of resistance to change. Mm -hmm. Uh, the old TPRF status quo is maintained in Tigray. There is no democracy, there is no freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. Nobody is allowed to think freely, to talk about any issue freely. Mm -hmm. So while it is not the case with the rest of Ethiopia, mm -hmm. there is a democracy, there is freedom. Uh, so Tigray, Tigrayan people are under the yoke of, under the repression of the TPLF. Mm -hmm. So TPLF has only turned out to become another Turk. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so TPLF hasn't liberated Tigray from the people of Tigray from poverty, mm -hmm. hasn't uh, brought about changes, mm -hmm. the likes of uh, democracy, mm -hmm. development. Uh, so it has become a major source of cumbersome for the Tigrayan people, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm, thank you. Can you put your demarcation between TPLF and that of the Tigrayan people? Tigray people uh, are. Uh, of uh, five million, six million people mm -hmm. with a very long-standing history mm -hmm. but that can date back to 3,000, 4,000 years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. uh, that we are very instrumental in the formation of the Ethiopian state as mm -hmm. it stands now. Mm -hmm. TPLF is a 50-year-old party. Okay. So, and in, as any society, Tigrayans have uh, chose different routes. The, there are Tigrayans that are participating in the TPLF. There are Tigrayans that are uh, being organized somewhere else mm -hmm. that chose to have a different political opinion. So a party and people can never be one and same. So it, is, it has never been the case in history, so it's the case here. The federal government has been asking TPLF to sit uh, and negotiate on the national agendas and has been sending uh, high-profiled individuals, including celebrities like Haile Gebrselassie and uh, other uh, delegates, uh, Baghdad and uh, religious fathers as well. But they have uh, been declining that, right? They've been refusing for, to negotiate. Uh, at the end of the day, they, ha I mean, they took a bad act on the Northern Command and the federal government is taking action on I mean, uh, as a response for their act. Now, out of nowhere, they are saying Abis administration is taking a bad measure on us and they are uh, yelling to the global communities to, to mediate them, asking them to mediate. Why they refused in the very first place and why they are going to ask a mediator now? Well, for one thing, uh, the mediation, um, the mediation effort projected at uh, Prosperity Party and the TPLF, led by Haile Gebrselas, is not the one that's launched by us. It's, it's their own, the mediator's initiative. Mm -hmm. But we have taken, we have, uh, on our end, mm -hmm. we have initiated a lot of formal and informal mm -hmm. uh, measures with a view to resolve 
uh, the problem we had with the TPLF uh, by way of amicable settlement. Mm. But TPLF refused. Mm. Uh, TPLF felt like if it if, uh, refuses, then that's the end of history. Mm. That will, Ethiopia will cease to exist. TPLF have, uh, has always overestimated itself. That's mm. the problem. Mm. Uh, you know, our prime minister is a man of peace. The Prosperity Party is a modern party, a progressive party that believes in dialogue, in give and take. Mm. Uh, and f to that end, we have uh, taken, we have initiated a number of uh, efforts with a view to resolve the, the, the predicament, the problem we had with the TPLF. Uh, uh, friendly, but TPLF uh, uh, rejected all of the initiatives, even if that is the case. We still chose to be patient mm. to the extent that people felt we are afraid of them. Mm. Uh, with all this patience, TPLF took it as uh, incapability. Like our patience was interpreted by the TPLF as a mere incapability. Uh, so due to that, it has overestimated itself. And uh, then what happened by Tuesday? Um, the, turned out to be the case. Mm. So we are in this uh, operation, we are forced to take this operation. Mm. We have left no stone unturned mm. to resolve the crisis peacefully. Mm. But no government would tolerate such an act. Mm. They attacked our Northern Command as if they were in a, as if they are in a mistake, an in a mistake. Mm. So no government will tolerate this. If any government tolerates this, mm. It's just a uh, green light for the mm. country to be disintegrated, the country mm. to be with no defense uh, force, uh, capability. Uh, so this is something that we are forced into. And uh, once we are in, then we are bringing about a major shift. It is not because we are incapable, it's because mm. we chose to solve the crisis peacefully. Now, as you said, TPLF is a one-city government now, a Mecca city government, and it will, it will change mm -hmm. any time soon. So when TPLF happens to lose in the front, mm -hmm. in the ground, it's, it's calling for, it's out there in, in crying out loudly for help from the international community. Yes. Uh, so TPLF does not believe in negotiation. Mm -hmm. It's only calling for negotiation now because it has lost. It has lost on the ground. It is not a party of give and take. Mm -hmm. It's organizational culture tells you that it's not ready for any democratic practice. Mm -hmm. It's not ready for give and take. Mm -hmm. uh, so negotiating with this kind of party can only elongate the problem. It will not solve the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we are, but, but when it comes to prosperity party, it's a party of dialogue. It is a party that believes in dialogue in amicable settlement of disputes, mm -hmm. of whatsoever. Mm. Mm, but TPLF is a party of armed struggle background. Mm -hmm. uh, for, TPLF has been engaged in armed struggle for more than 22 decades. Yes. So that has defined the party's culture. Now it is, it's lost everything, it's lost the war, the, uh, the, on the ground, it's uh, crying out loudly for help. But this is Ethiopian issue. This is, of course, if you have to uh, speak strictly, then it is one region issue within Ethiopia, one city issue within Ethiopia. So it's not an international one. It's not something that Ethiopia, it's not something that for foreign establishments should mm -hmm. intervene with a view to solve the crisis. Well, the federal government is capable of handling this crisis mm -hmm. and will solve the problem pretty much soon. So it's not a uh, concern or uh, so it's not a source of worry for the international community. Some international media again uh, criticize uh, Abi saying the Nobel Peace Prize winner is launching a civil war in its, in its nation. How do you brief this for the global community? Because he is not, he is not the one who launched the war, isn't it? They, I mean, a certain rebel group insisted him to put him in war. For one thing, this is not a civil war, as I said. Mm. This is a law enforcement measure. Yes. As is the case by, by, taken by any government. The U.S. government always may, takes measures with a view to 
uh, enforcing uh, uh, rule of law. So same here. Uh, the Prime Minister is able to uh, solve uh, the stalemate between Eritrea, a two decade for long stalemate between Ethiopia and Eritrea. So when it comes to his uh, track record, there is nobody can question that he is a man of peace. But peace cannot be achieved just because you want it. As uh, one, as uh, uh, as uh, the saying goes, mm -hmm. one hand ca one hand cannot clamp. Mm -hmm. So peace can only be achieved by parties who, by two parties who want it. The prime minister was looking for a peaceful settlement of the problem. He has left no stone unturned. He has given peace a chance mm -hmm. to thrive, but it was turned down. And the TPLF is the one that chose to shoot on the forehead of our, our soldiers. Mm -hmm. So this is a low uh, rule, this is a continuation of the Prime Minister project to make Ethiopia a democratic success, to make Ethiopia a peace success. Mm -hmm. This is not an anti-peace operation, this is an operation to make Ethiopia peaceful. TPLF has been the force behind the casualties, mm -hmm. the crisis here and there, and it's a party, it's a, an organization that killed our soldiers. So if, if you let TPLF survive, if you let TPLF, the TPLF military junta continue to function as a political party, if you let uh, the military junta uh, to continue to rule Tigray intact, mm -hmm. then there won't be peace in Ethiopia. There will not be peace in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So the prime minister is not going against his track record. Yeah. He's keeping himself true to the track record. Mm -hmm. He's keeping himself true through the weight that a Nobel laureate uh, award would carry. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a peace project. It's a peace operation. Good. Uh, the war is, I mean, uh, the law enforcement measure, I couldn't say it war, actually. The law enforcement measure has taken over TPLF by the federal government, right? But still, TPLF is blaming Isaias Afurki as well. You see? How do you tell this uh, fallacy for the global community as well? It's a pity. The, the federal government has every capability mm. to enforce law enforcement measures in Ethiopia. Mm. Ethiopians are known to have uh, a must a great deal of military capacities and their economic, uh, real economic uh, capacity. Mm. You know, we have seen the number of peacekeeping missions throughout Africa. Yes. And we have uh, ongoing ones in Somalia, in Sudan, a mm. lot of places. Yes. So we cannot, we have no reason to, really, to lean on the support of a foreign country mm. to enforce rule of law integrate. Mm. This is a white lie. What is the law enforcement measure is being taken by our own armed forces. Mm. No foreign government, no foreign force is involved in this operation. Okay. People left is simply trying to smear a false campaign mm. against our government mm. so that the international community will be misled by this misinformation mm. and chose to intervene in the constellation of events, mm. which is a which is wrong, uh, wrong thing to do. This is a white lie. It is only our forces that are out there. We are not even making use of our full military potential. We are not forced to do so. We are only making use of our, a partial member of our uh, military establishment to enforce the rule of, rule of operation Tigray. Okay, what would be the next fate of TPLF though? The, we are not fighting with the Tigrayan, against the Tigrayan people. Sure. We are not fighting TPLF per se. We are fighting against mm. the military junta, the top echelon mm. of the TPLF, which is behind the attack mm. on our northern command, which was planning, aiding, abating, and financing, sometime executing the plan. Mm. So TPLF has more than one million members. And we are not going after all these members. Mm. We are going after the selected masterminds behind all these evil things. Mm. And uh, they have only one fit, to surrender, mm. to uh, admit the fact that they have lost. Mm. They cannot continue 
to fight. They don't have the capability. They have lost it on the ground. Mm -hmm. So it is their choice. It is not up to us. We have offered them a choice. They have declined. Now we are on the final offensive, which will be finalized pretty much soon. Okay, over the past uh, 27 plus years, TPLF uh, used to rule the country through conspiracies and sab sabotage. Uh, why they used such, I mean, uh, unpromising and unsound claim to govern the country? Well, TPLF came to power through a muzzle of dazzling weapon. Mm. It is a guerrilla armed movement that uh, together with the forces of the Derg. So to continue to 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 keep its grip on power, mm. in power, mm. the, it was supposed to invent a lot of conspiracies and sabotages, which the, ultimately mm. Mm, had negative impact on nation building, state formation in Ethiopia. The TPLF uh, wanted to keep its privilege. TPLF had a privileged position in, within uh, the APRF. It was not uh, the way power was shared, shared, the way everything. It was not on equal basis. It is not on, fair, on the basis of fairness. Uh, so TPLF was so used to this privilege that it wanted to maintain it. And the only way to maintain this privilege is and deserved power and privilege was through sabotage and conspiracy. That was the case. Okay. Uh, right after Abiy Ahmed took office, uh, TPLF uh, crew, uh, I mean, uh, have uh, flee to have flown to Makali, right? And they have been doing different things. They have been infiltrating their hands behind other parties as well. Uh, would they dream to regain power over the past three years? Yeah. I think the people have all these actors, you know, for the past three years since uh, Navi got elected and took hold of power. Mm -hmm. A lot of things happened and behind many of these things, this crisis, the PLF is there, out there. And so one would ask why? Mm -hmm. What is the goal of such a uh, non-stopping uh, uh, effort to invent crisis after crisis? Mm. Um, as far as my understanding of TPLF goes through, mm. I think at best TPLF wanted to again uh, control that carat kilo mm. so that it will continue its privileged position within the front in the country. Mm. If not, TPLF wanted to create a kind of Somaliland, a de facto state, I would say. Mm. And for that to happen, the rest of the country had to be destabilized, as is the case with Somalia. Like Somalia, the, so this is, it is either a privileged position in Askilo. If not, the worst scenario would be for TPLF would be to be like a Somaliland, a de facto state. That's what TPLF was eyeing for. That's that's the reason behind that. That's the calculation behind all these bad things happening here and there. Mm -hmm. The good thing. Is we were aware of this, uh, the TPLF calculation, it didn't come to fruition. And uh, the rest of Ethiopia is now stable more than ever. Our rule of uh, law operation in the rest of the country has built fruit. Uh, and it will be the case in Tigray. So it so will be the case in Tigray. And so TPLF uh, law, uh, plan got sub uh, aborted in, in, other, in other words. That's how I see Okay, uh, right now, it's the last breeze for TPLF, I guess. Still, they, 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 they are requesting international bodies, uh, including African Union and a UN, to mediate them with that of the federal government, right? Would uh, such negotiation solve the, I mean, the very uh, hard uh, problem of Ethiopia? No, for one thing, uh, this is not uh, something that's open to an international affairs. This is, uh, Ethiopia is a very big country. Mm. Mm. It is something that has to do with the northern fringe part of the country. Mm. And it's 
already the problem is now located at Makali. The rest of the Tigray is liberated from mm -hmm. Tigray. So the point it has reached the problem. The thing has reached point beyond point of no return. Mm -hmm. So the in Tigray, this is even if that is the case, the problem will not be solved. Mm -hmm. The problem had the problem been been capable of solved by negotiation, it would have been already solved. Mm -hmm. TPLF is not ready for a give and take. It has no culture of negotiation. All of a sudden, a party of 50 year old tradition cannot be made to accept these kind of things. So this is simply a tactic, a uh, deliberate tactic by TPLF to buy time mm. so that it will get the, bring, the breathing space to continue its uh, malicious acts. Mm. Uh, so as the Tipping government has clearly stipulated, this is a law enforcement measure that will be reappeared up soon. So all those bodies, international committees, worry that it will escalate itself into a regional war or into a civil war. That's not the case. If it was, uh, if it was going to be escalated to a regional war or a civil war, it would have already happened. It's now too weak, and we are wrapping up the operation. So okay. I don't think there is any reason for that to happen. OK. Uh, you are a member of Prosperity Party, right? The, I mean, the TPLF. I am the Prosperity Party's election affairs head. So That's great. Mm. But TPLF still disgrace Prosperity Party as if the Ethiopian government, I mean, the Abyss administration is going to say it a unitary government. Would that sound? Mm. That's uh, still a continuation of the white line. Yeah. Uh, smear campaign but against over that. the past three years, they have been yelling, saying, People no, are, are going to lose their autonomy, determining their own fate in their own nation. Um, we are aware of that. Mm. Uh, TPLF has been saying that it's a unitary government. Mm. The problem is TPLF's understanding of a unitary government is a flawed one. Mm. TPLF says if a government is a unitary one, then it's anti-democratic government. That's wrong. Mm. You know, unitary governments elsewhere, like uh, as is the case in the UK, uh, they have uh, more democratic practices than other countries that are federal ones. Uh, we believe Ethiopia is a multinational state, a multicultural state. Mm -hmm. We also believe this multinational, multicultural aspect of Ethiopia should be accommodated. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are not unitary ones. We are not unitary ones because we know that's not the best system for Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. The best structure for Ethiopia will be a federal system. We are not going to uh, touch that. We are not going to reform that. If there are things to be reformed, it will be, but we are not going to throw the baby with the bathwater. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the bathwater with the baby. Mm -hmm. If there are wrongs within the federal system, there are a lot of critics. There are a lot of complaints that are coming from Oromia, from a lot of region, mm -hmm. part of Ethiopia, mm -hmm. then it will be corrected. Mm -hmm. But Ethiopia will continue to be a federal country. It will, uh, in our, in our reign, in our, uh, uh, we are the ruling government. We are the ruling party. So, the Prosperity Party is not a unitary party. It's not does not believe that Ethiopia should be a unitary state. That is not the case. That's a false kind, a white lie. I would say, that will be a proper word. Okay, TPLF used to advocate by saying that true federalism uh, had been implemented during their reign. Do you believe that? No, that's not the case. Had we inherited a, a true federal system, then these things wouldn't have happened. The crisis, at the heart of the crisis, mm -hmm. was the failure for TPLF mm -hmm. to implant, to introduce a true federal system. Mm -hmm. It was a system with a view to make it TPLF, mm -hmm. to keep TPLF, its privileged position within the Ethiopian political system. Mm -hmm. It has never been a, a true federal system. One would say people uh, in the regional, uh, you know, most of the regional presidents were not mm -hmm. chosen by, by their own people, by their own party. It was handpicked by the TPLF. The resource of these regions was not uh, solely and administrated by the regional ones. TP, the general president, the TPLF had a uh, major uh, control on the resource of this region. So one, you cannot call uh, a federal system a true one mm -hmm. uh, without 
the capability to choose one's own president and uh, an effective control on the resources. TPLF had control on these two things. It was a false federalism. We are here to, to make the federal practice a true one. So the allegation would be the otherwise. Okay. Uh, we are a true federal party and the TPLF is a false federal party. Okay. Uh, they used to say we are the poor. The false federal, federalist poor force. Uh, which is uh, based on ethnic, isn't it? It's, it's a kind of uh, ethnic federalism. Mm, we can talk a lot. It will be a very lengthy okay. subject. Okay, skip it. Uh, I mean, they used to say we are a pointer of democracy in Ethiopia. Mm. Uh, what is it? For one thing, this constitution, a lot of forces participated in this constitution. Uh, that's, the constitution has some progressive elements, mm -hmm. some democratic uh, elements. Uh, of, uh, but the problem is uh, practice goes against the constitution. You have freedom of speech recognized by the constitution, but on the ground, uh, journalists were thrown to prison. Mm -hmm. uh, political parties organized based on the, the right mm -hmm. enshrined in the constitution, but they were thrown to jail because of their political opinion. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is only through the reform that we are able to free a lot of political prisoners, mm -hmm. uh, prisoners of consciousness. Mm -hmm. So con con uh, uh, consciousness. So TPLF claim that their democracy forces is. is, is Truly false. Okay. Some media are saying a war between, I mean, uh, offensive act by federal government over TPLF. TPLF is a rebel group. They claim this. Others say it's a civil war. How do you brainstorm this people? This is a, a rural law enforcement operation yes. taken by the federal government, which is trying to uphold rule of law against the military junta okay. that is trying to isolate the Tigray people from the rest of the country. That's how we, we would like to characterize what's going on. Okay. It, TPLF used to ingest false rhetoric and false narrative to, I mean, uh, uh, what we call it, uh, to easily rule the country. You see? We, we but have... people, I mean, international uh, communities and global audiences wouldn't know this. Can you say a bit about it? We've talked uh, earlier, we've said uh, TPLF uh, injected uh, conspiracy and uh, false uh, rumors to keep its grip on power. So that's the continuation of that. Okay. Uh, and are there some giant TPLF companies' bank account uh, had been closed? Would that a correct measure by the federal government? Yeah, the, the belief uh, is, is using every resource at its disposal to, to enforce its uh, 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 plans against our government mm -hmm. and against our people. Mm -hmm. So we are taking measures with a view to deny its, this capability mm -hmm. of the PLF to do wrong things. Mm -hmm. That's a continuation of that. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a continuation of rule of measure. Yeah. Uh, rule of operation going on in Tigray. Okay, what is your recommendation for I mean, the global audiences uh, to understand this uh, act taken by the federal government as if it is a law enforcement measure? We have uh, come up with a number of uh, analysis. Uh, the Prime Minister has come out uh, uh, with his with our version of the story. Mm -hmm. So the international community, we believe you are now listening to us, mm -hmm. are now understanding the, uh, the constellation of events. That's why uh, they are supporting us uh, uh, through a number of means. Mm -hmm. TPLF has no friend mm -hmm. in the international community because it's not, it's a rebel group. Uh, we, uh, that is engaged in committing atrocities of unheard uh, proportion. So we want the international community to understand that this is our law enforcement strategy in line with the reform. The reform wants to make Ethiopia a democratic success. The reform wants to make Ethiopia a peace success. And TPLF has 
become the major roadblock in, in uh, making our plan a reality. It has been the force behind uh, crisis here in India for the past three years. Mm -hmm. It has been the sponsor, it has been the major executor, mm -hmm. it has been the force that was planning, uh, abating and doing a lot of things to destabilize Ethiopia. This is, uh, so this is not, we're not uh, going back on our promise that Ethiopia will be a democratic success. It is rather we are keeping our promise to be, to be a democratic success. The, the PLF is not a party of democracy, it's not a party of negotiation, it's not a party of give and take. Okay. The country is being led by prosperity party these days, right? Can you give us a little highlight about a prosperity party? Prosperity Party is born out of the amalgamation of the four parties, the three parties that were constituents of the front, the APRD, and the other major um, affiliated parties, which are five in number. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a party of eight million members. Uh, for the past one year, it has proven uh, that it's, uh, it's a party capable of leading Ethiopia to the next uh, uh, generation. Uh, we are trying to make Ethiopia a democratic success. We are trying to make Ethiopia a peace success. We are also fighting against poverty. Mm -hmm. uh, for all that, uh, we believe our people are on our side. Uh, soon we'll have an election. Uh, we want this election uh, a historic of uh, before. Uh, we want this election uh, uh, to uh, be a landmark when it comes uh, Ethiopia to be a land of free contestation, mm -hmm. and a truly fair uh, election, and uh, we are working towards that. Mm -hmm. and, and the operation in Tigray is in line with this aspiration of ours. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is your future direction? Future direction of uh, Prosperity Party? What future direction? You will, your uh, plan, for example, you are going to have uh, Ethiopia is going to have an uh, election, right? After some five or six months. After that, if you won, and you genuinely said we will won this election. Well, that, that's going to be a very big issue. Like we are, It doesn't matter. Say it. Say. We want to be Ethiopia a prosperous country. Okay. No, not uh, simply materially, but also we want to go ahead with, we want Ethiopia to be a country of consolidated democracy. Mm -hmm. We want Ethiopia to be a country of solid peace. Mm -hmm. That's what we aim at. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Zadik Abraha, thank you for your time. Same I really thank, appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Okay. Dear viewers, you have been watching Talk to OBN show. Uh, I had a dialogue with uh, Zadik Abraha, Minister of uh, Democratization at Prime Minister Office. Hope you had an insight over current affairs in Ethiopia. The, I mean, the law enforcement measure taken by the federal government in, uh, in Tigray against that of TPLEF. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.